Hey everyone. So we are super excited here. My husband earned a company paid trip to Atlantis in the Bahamas and we're just all excited. My kids and I are coming with him on the trip and Noah has no idea of what's going on. <laughs> all he knows is that it's really fun to just empty mama's suitcases every time she puts things in them. So <laughs> I will pack and Noah will unpack. <laughs> I will go and think that I have got everything in place and I'll go to the room and get something else that I need to pack and when I go back to see the bags, Noah is sitting inside of a suitcase with everything thrown on the floor. So, <laughs> And he's busy laughing and just being his cute self. So, <laughs> Packing with him has been definitely interesting. So, I try to do it when he's asleep because otherwise it just won't get done. <laughs> Della, however, does know what's going on, and he's really, really excited about it. So, And we are only going for five days, and he will tell everyone, and anyone who will listen, that he is going, and that we're all going to Atlantis for five years. <laughs> I, I don't know where he got it from, but I've given up telling him otherwise. It's just going nowhere, so <laughs> it just is what it is. I thought um, that, well, this this time we're actually going on our own. Last time, last year when we took our family vacation, my husband and I actually took my mother and my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law on the vacation with us. And we didn't take them for any other reason than that we thought it would be just so much fun to go in a bigger group where we were going. And we were right, it was just so much fun. The It turned out, though, that my mother and my sister-in-law especially, which I will always be grateful to them because for this, because while we were on this vacation, they really kept telling me, you work so hard taking care of these kids all the time, you deserve a break. And so they really made it their job to just take care of the kids as much as possible for me. So I was able actually to enjoy the vacation fully. <laughs> I was able to be on vacation with my kids and actually relax <laughs> because I was just able to have fun with them and they were taking care of, of most of what needed to be done with them. Of course, I was still nursing Noah, so of course I handled that. And, and not to say that I wasn't taking care of my kids, but they really did relieve the load a lot for me. So I will really always be appreciative of that for the, with um, even my husband and my brother-in-law helped with that too, though, because in the evenings when the kids would go to sleep, they would, everybody would alternate so that if, so that I could go out with whatever group was going out from our room and I was able to go out and enjoy the full vacation rather than just have to stay with the kids and miss out on anything. So that was really nice. This time around, though, we are going alone. It's just my husband and I and the two boys. <laughs> And that's going to be interesting. <laughs> um, we're not going to take the dog. Right now she's retired, so it would be kind of like taking a pet. And that would be a little too complicated. And in any case, she's very sick. And it wouldn't be right to put her under the stress of traveling. So my grandma is actually going to look after her for me. I thought I would go over the general rules that we, my husband and I implement for travel and this is just in general not just because we're going overseas so generally because Noah is still small we will either carry him in our arms or backpack carry him or we will put him in the umbrella or double stroller um we are going to start leash leashing him because the summer is coming up and we really need him to learn the way that his brother did what an allowable distance is and that's how we tr we taught Della how far he could go we um he could go as long as far as that leash would let him and if he didn't want to wear the harness that was okay but he couldn't go any farther than what the leash had shown him and if he chose to start going off then he would either have to hold hands or the harness would go back on, the little monkey harness that we had. And we got one for Noah, too. So we're going to be starting to do that. Actually, we're, we're going to be doing that in Atlantis. Both of them will be leashed, or if Abdullah doesn't want to be leashed, he has to hold hands because I don't know the place. It is a different country, a different place. I don't... 
it is possibly very crowded. I've never been to Atlantis, which by the way, I'm really excited to go because it's on my bucket list going to Atlantis. So I'm actually going to get to complete that very soon. So that's really exciting for me. Um, so yeah, when we travel with the kids, if we are in the city, cause we go to New York a lot there, we have to constantly hold hands, especially when we're going on trains and subways. Noah is always either backpacked <laughs> um, on my husband or myself, or he is in a stroller, whether it's the double stroller or the umbrella stroller. He is just too little to be walking anywhere, even on leash in the city or any crowded place like that. In local areas so far, still Noah is just too little to be walking around anywhere. And he's a runner, so we don't, he is still, again, carried or in a stroller. Della in a local place is allowed to go as long. He can walk next to us or ahead of us just slightly. As long as, um, the rule is if we, my husband or I extend our arm and we can still grab you with our hands or, you know, still feel you with our fingertips, then you're safe. You're in a good distance. You're in an allowable distance. Anything beyond that is not allowed. So then it, you will get told, you know, he gets told, no, you know, come back. You have to stay where we can feel you. And if he does it one more time, then at that point he has to hold hands again because he needs to be reminded that he can't go but so far. Crossing streets, obviously, hold hands, look both ways. There's just, that's just common sense. That's just a normal parent thing to do. Um, I don't really push constantly holding hands, again, unless we're in, in the city or somewhere crowded. My son really is not a big fan of being grabbed or doesn't like to feel smothered or confined, so... If it is very local, like where we are living, or it is not crowded, then yeah, the the arm length rule applies. You can go as far as that, and never behind us. Always either next to us or just ahead of us where, where we can feel you and my husband can see him. Constant dialogue is a must for us, and that's not even a big deal because my kid can talk. And I think Noah's going to go on the same route of constantly being talkative, like just very talkative. Um, we recently went for his wellness uh, appointment and his pediatrician, our pediatrician was impressed because um, occasionally, and he does use them, but Noah can say a few three word phrases, which is, he said, a two year old skill. <laughs> and I don't know, because no, Della was the same way and my kids can talk. <laughs> so constant dialogue is something that we do. Um, like I said, we are going to be leashing the kids and we're going to be taking our backpack carrier and we're going to rent a stroller if they're available in when we get to Atlantis. If they're not available, it's not a biggie. We still have the backpack carrier and it's not a big deal. I don't want to take more than I have to. I already, <laughs> I already have issues with packing light. I just, for some reason, doesn't work out for me. So I don't want to take more than I have to. And again, Della is allowed to be leashed or he's going to have to hold hands. If we are in an area that doesn't have many people around and I feel comfortable enough, then we will let him, again, use the arm length rule. <laughs> but so far, it's hold hands or leashed. Um, for water safety, because we there is going to be water, obviously pools and things like that, it is just a general rule that every parent uses. Just floating devices. We have actually life jackets for both kids. And so nothing really out of the ordinary for that. Just the same rules. Constantly talking and being around us. And we're only going to be doing the kiddie pools and things like that because it's just safer. We are... We do take a lot of bus... Well, actually, no. We don't, we don't take buses. I haven't put my kids on a bus yet. <laughs> I just have had horrible experiences on buses. I had a drunk guy sit on me <laughs> on a bus. So no, I don't like buses. <laughs> we don't do buses. We do a lot of trains and subways and subways are probably worse than buses, but I don't like buses, like I said. And we do take the train, the kids on the trains and the subways and we do take a lot of cabs. So on trains and subways, again, double stroller, which we have one where we have a little bench in the back. So uh, or Della will sit or stand on that bench, and Noah will sit in the seat in the front. And if Della is not in the bench in the double stroller, then he is holding hands. Almost all the time, though, it's the double stroller. 
what else? Oh, we're going to be taking pictures of the kids in the morning. And that's just a general rule. Just It's a good idea to have current pictures of your kids when you're going out. God forbid you should get separated from them. I just think it's a good idea. We're also going to be having our cell phones and our respective, um, what our kids call us, Mama and Baba, um, <clears throat> written on somewhere on their person, <laughs> somewhere where it's, easily found god forbid should they be lost but not so that the entire world can just see our information <laughs> so that's something we're going to be doing um and i think it's just a really good idea to keep that going so but yeah that's pretty much it we don't really try to overcomplicate things or make things challenging because we try to keep normalcy as much as possible um this is in not related to travel but it's something that I've been asked in the past before and I've been asked if I tend to confine my kids to a specific area of the house when we're home or keep them with me in the same room at all times wherever I'm going they're with me or um, put the shoes on when they're younger that have a lot of bells or squeaky sounds and things like that just to keep track of what they're doing and the short answer to that is no I do not I don't I mean, we do have a play yard and we do use it and we have our baby gates in place, but it is not something that we go above and beyond and make a bigger effort to implement. If no one needs to be put in his playpen in his play yard for a bit, then so be it. If I need to close him out of the kitchen for whatever reason, if especially if I'm cooking or working with the oven, then so be it. Or if the dog is eating <laughs> because he has, <laughs> he likes to bother that poor girl. So he will go and, and she's such a good dog and she just stands there and lets him bother her. So she never gets to eat in peace unless I close the gate. <laughs> and then he you know, yells <laughs> from that gate. And, and, but she needs to be able to eat in peace. So, But we I don't make it a bigger effort to keep them constantly with me. I like my kids to be independent and to explore and to be just normal kids. You know, kids are going to get into things and that's everyone's kids, not just my kids, everyone's kids. And I don't want to deprive them from life. So we don't I don't I don't make it a bigger effort to let them know that things are a little bit different, that their parents are a little unique. You know, my kids our kids just see mama and baba. They see their parents, that's it. And that's how I like it. So and that's how my husband likes it. We we strive to keep everything as normal as possible. So anyway, and and that's that's pretty much it. You know, just keeping things simple and being safe, you know. But I will keep updating and posting as we go along. And yeah, we're just really, really excited to go on this trip. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.